Hello, hello, and Are you feeling welcome wet? back, soldier. Hello. I am Maester Alix, and this is Fallout 4 NCR Lone Ranger. We are right back where we left off, aboard the Breadwin, as the ranger fulfills that empty place in her soul with duty, honor, and violence. The ranger was looking for Paladin Dance. She knew he had to be around here somewheres. Time to move. Like that? Now split the difference. There? Now half that. Hell no. Do you want to do it? No, no. I think you've almost got it. Like usual, there were sounds of violence around. Ah, Elder Maxon. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwick's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Now. We have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed, and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Well, the Elder did point out the area, it was a mite difficult to see. While the vertebrate would wait, she figured it could wait a little longer. Probably till about morning. Besides, she found an area she hadn't really looked at yet. Figured might be some good things to acquire. And a nice place to wait. Having had a few hours to think about it, she reflected upon her life and realized, well, she figured she knew how to line up great shots and should be and should really think about doing it more. Get on that gunship, soldier. I want Fort Strong cleared and that stockpile secure. Taking on a death claw without backup is a great way to get yourself killed. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green, and we're cleared for release. Again, she rode that vertebrate, and again she was impressed by how different things seemed from the sky. Smaller and a more complete picture. She was eager to get to those super mutants and do some good in the world. Besides, might get her all riled up to take out some raiders later. That there behemoth was certainly something worth shooting at. 
She's really gonna try to take it down with this here gun from the vertebrae before that thing landed. The other super mutants can wait. She didn't quite like hearing the sound of that, but she understood. Well, she wanted to use her Sequoia, she knew she had to conserve ammo. Besides, her other gun was specifically designed for killing mutants just like these. Well, you know, that old ranger stood her ground and blew all of them super mutants to dust. Yeah, wasn't glorious work, but she was allowed herself to feel just a little bit of pride in that. Not a single one of the mutants even got remotely close. They all were, they all kept their distance. She'd have to deal with the uh, excess weight issue for at least a little while longer. No. She had a fort to clear out. First she wanted to take a look around. What was it called? A perimeter sweep, they said. As she looked around, she found piles of cannonballs and reflected upon that. Yeah, big old cannons may be powerful, but tremendously impractical. She kind of wondered who in the world and who in the right mind would want to use such a thing. Having made it this far, green stuff here. she realized she figured why those Brotherhood of Steel Fellers liked her. Because she was a girl of action. Wish a buckethead would show up. I know. I'd rip his legs clean off. What? 
Who's there? Oh. What's that? Someone there. That's it. She knew there'd be super mutants, but she was a little surprised that they were all right there waiting for her. not expecting something quite like this when she got into this place. Though she really should have been. Figured that pistol might be good for something or someone. Just needed to be touched up a bit first. Thankfully, there was plenty of ammo to go around. Having never been here before, she didn't know which way to go. But she was willing to look around and try to find that just right place. I hear something. Having just fought one of the big ones, she realized she needed a little bit more tender care to her but to her uh, body Again, she felt allowed herself the tiniest bit of pride in knocking these mutants down before they even had a chance to draw their weapons. Something really handy about being a quick shot. She figured she could drop that milk bottle off where it belonged. Didn't really need it. Wasn't really helping her any. Word came down that the army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, M42s this morning. I've only seen the specs for these little beauties on paper. Private Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a man portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. 
After seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies? They won't know what hit them. With the, with the gift of hindsight, she could she could confirm that. All the people in the end here learned about Anchorage. One of the few great battles of the Great War actually lasted more than a little bit. Technically, it was before the Great War, but well, all pre all pre war history kind of muddled together. Yeah, she carried a bit too much, but still, most of it had a use at one time or another. She knew in a position like this, one of the best one of the best things she could do is throw a grenade. I can smell you out there, little guy. Again, she was prepared for super news, but not necessarily some of that caliber. She knew there were others about. Because they did not keep themselves subtle. Though, a rocket launcher was not something she was terribly well prepared for. But she was somewhat prepared for. Radiation down here was higher than she would have liked, but sometimes you don't get a say in the matter. A lot of these super mutants had uh, more than just a little bit of a good equipment on them. Sadly, this meant she once again found herself carrying too much. But, as always, once she decided to put a few things down, she was able to move around again. Thankfully, she heard the familiar stomps of Look Brotherhood. Place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. 
I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Thankfully, she'd seen enough of this place to realize, yep, there was much here to see and much here to do. But she hadn't seen it and done it all yet. Still this utility axis. Thankfully, the Brotherhood had seen to it first. Sorry, Knight. I need to attend to my duties. Whatever was happening, she couldn't quite get to there. How sad. She guess she'd better just head on back then. Looking over Fort Strong, now that she knew she didn't have to scan her toes, worry about the super mutants, it actually looked a little better to her. That's uh, apparently one of the side effects of stress. However, with that stress gone, she could take it in, really enjoy the place, and then found it to be thoroughly unenjoyable. Other than somewhat reveling in her handiwork, she was just mostly glad it was over with. Stepping out of Fort Strong, she got another good sight of that there Pridwin. Actually filled her heart with just a little bit of pride knowing she'd been up there. However, she was still mostly in CR. I mean, they're the ones who gave her all the training and got her to come out here. So, thankfully, she wouldn't forget that. Now, she was in CR for life, but. Since the Brotherhood was allies, she figured it ain't no harm in helping them a bit. And if she happened to get some extra pay out of it, well, ain't no problem with that. Not like she's seen a lot of NCR dollars out here. They were still working on caps. Eh, but no place is perfect.
Especially since you're dealing with, you know, Brotherhood of Steel. Heck, what they got, they practically use them as currency. Then she heard the sounds of conflict in the distance and decided, well, couldn't let that just happen. She had to do something about it. And so, in, true fa in her true fashion, she did something about it. What these jackals wanted with these settlers, she had no idea. In all honesty, it really didn't matter. Now, for some reason, the settlers were taking pot shots at her. She just I saw something. let them. They were scared and defending their homes, and here comes someone just making people's heads fall off. She understood. She just leave them be for a bit, let them cool down, get settled in. Hopefully, get over this. Uh, there are more jackals to take care of. Again, she found herself carrying too much stuff, but this time she knew just what to leave behind. Didn't need a whole jug of shine. Though that repeater the jackal carried looked awfully nice. She figured these settlers would need it more. She 
So he's finally finding some decent weapons hanging around. That brought her some joy. Mostly because it was what she needed for her sequoia. She earned that thing through years of service. So when she went back onto that road, she again ran into Paladin Dance. She figured she could walk with him for a while. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Ready to continue. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? That depends. How are you feeling? My power armor systems are within normal operating parameters. So I'm as ready as I'll ever be. You just give the word, and we can begin our mission. Not now. No problem. Let me know when you're ready. And with that, I say thank you all for joining me. I hope you're enjoying my content as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. And I truly do enjoy making it for all of you, because I make it seven days a week. Anyway, if you're enjoying my content, please uh, go down to the second comment section below and say what you're enjoying. Uh, for those who made it all the way this far, if you use the uh, you know, word of the day, which is pickle, uh, your comment will get an instant thumbs up. Anyway, uh, if you are, are not enjoying my content, then please leave a thumbs down and a suggestion on what I could do to make things better. Uh, I know this whole being the narrator thing is a, still uh, a bit contested and uh, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but uh, I've already committed to this action, and a lot of people still do like it, so, uh, again, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, if you would like to support my channel in a more meaningful way, then please follow the link down below to the Patreon campaign. Patreon subscribers get themselves a slew of beautiful rewards, including early access to, uh, to my videos, Patreon-exclusive videos every weekend, and uh, access to a private channel on my Discord server where I'll occasionally put videos or streams and all sorts of goodness. Anyway, thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you all next time.